this work titled The North American Iceberg. Um, Carl painted it in, in 1985. And it's, uh, it's a significant work, um, not only because it's one of his first works that where he, d he used a, a very different technique of, of painting on the back of plexiglass, of building up an image in reverse. It's significant to the National Gallery and uh, I think therefore um, to the representation of Aboriginal art in, uh, in the history of, of uh, in the art history of Canada. Um, because this work was really, is, is, it's known as, a, as the first self-conscious purchase uh, of a work by a First Nations artist for the contemporary art collection at the National Gallery of Canada. And, and that was a really big deal in 1986 when, when that happened. Um, prior to that, there were almost no works by contemporary First Nations artists in the collection. Um, so this was a conscious decision by the then curator of contemporary art, Diana Nemiroff, to start to rectify that. And it wasn't just uh, her goodwill, um, of which there was plenty, but, there, but it was really due to, uh, also due to the idea of lobbying on the part of artist groups like SCANA, the Society of Canadian Artists of Native Ancestry, and on the part of artists themselves. Um, really the culmination of many, many years of lobbying for, for First Nations artists uh, to get their place, to get recognition in important collections, in the national collections uh, of Canada. Uh, whereas before, you know, uh, First Nations art, First Nations Métis art was really relegated to the museum and not the gallery proper, um, thought of as not a, a, thought of as not as art, but as artifact. Um, so this really signaled a change uh, in the collecting practices of, of the National Gallery, and I think signaled a broader change uh, in a societal change uh, in terms of the acceptance of of First Nations artists and that the art that they were creating was relevant to contemporary times uh, and that it had an important message and belonged in, uh, in the national narrative, in, in the collection of the National Gallery.